Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the belt in a Dyson clutch. Um, this particular one's out of a DC07, but it will be pretty much the same. In fact, it will be the same for a DC14 and probably other models as well. Now, just for an example, I just want you to come in and have a little close look here. You'll actually notice how this white part, um, some sort of a pulley thing, um, look, if this is melted like this one, there's no point replacing a, a belt. This has to be replaced completely, so you buy a whole new clutch. Now, what will happen normally is this will stretch quite a lot. Now, the reason this one was replaced is obviously because of this melting here, but I'm just going to show you how to replace this belt because this is how you get a bit of spin speed and tension back on your drive shaft. I will do another video where I replace both, but it's a much harder uh, repair. Okay, so I'm just going to pop these screws off. Now there are two different versions of this. One has a part where you, you move it to the left, like this. There's another one where you need to put a little screwdriver in there and just pop out a lug. But here I just move it to the left. And as I open this up, okay, get your belt like this. Now I'm just going to grab a new one. Now you'll notice there's not a huge difference between the sizes of these, about 20%. Sometimes you'll have this belt coming all the way out here. It gets really huge and really long. That gets put aside. And you just gotta make sure your belt is tucked in between the roller and this little lug. Now, the tricky part is getting this over to there without losing this part. So what you gotta do is try and do it uh, pretty much straight. And you've also got to have this go over this part here. Okay, so as we turn it, mine fell apart just then, hang on. Okay, so I just use my finger to keep that one apart. Oh, it comes apart again. Sometimes this does happen. I'm committed to not doing edited videos though, so... Um, you're going to get the benefit of having me muck around with this. Okay. Okay, so you should have the belt coming out one side, out the other, and then it's just a simple matter popping your screws back in. And doing them up. That's a pretty simple clutch repair. Now that's only doing the clutch to motor belt. I'll do another video if you want to check it out, uh, replacing both belts. Thanks, that's Alec from Vacuum Spot.